Red Cross confusion after Harvey making headlines across the country. Social media fueling the firestorm. Tonight, Channel 2 is getting answers for you. Channel 2 investigator Bill Spencer flew to Washington, D.C. to track down Red Cross leaders on the national level. And Channel 2 reporter Ryan Korsyard spoke with a spokesperson on the local level. We are going to begin with Bill Spencer tonight. Bill left Houston this morning for the mission in D.C. And within hours of landing, Bill, we understand you found the chief communications officer for the Red Cross. That's right, Bill. We are standing in front of the white marble palatial headquarters of the American Red Cross in Washington. It's an organization that was begun in the 1800s with the mission of helping all those suffering from tragedies. It is an organization under fire right now by many people in Houston who feel the Red Cross may not be doing the job it was commissioned to do. The tumultuous storm has passed, but the nightmare of cleaning up and rebuilding after the most disastrous flooding event in U.S. history is just now beginning for the victims of Harvey. Well, I think it's wrong. I mean, they're in their 70s. Angela Thompson's parents lost everything after four feet of water swamped their home. But when they applied for Red Cross help, a $400 immediate aid program, they were denied. My dad served this country. I mean, he's a, an Army veteran. He served in Korea. He served in Vietnam. If anyone deserves it, they deserve it. So Channel 2 Investigates has traveled to Washington, D.C., to Red Cross headquarters now to get answers on where the $300 million in Harvey donation money is actually going. And the simple fact is a lot of people in Houston are asking, where is the Red Cross putting this money? Uh, tell me, where is this money going right now? Well, I'm sure you have seen photos of the many, many shelters that we've opened and that we've staffed and that we've set up cots and we've set up blankets and we've brought in meals. Another big issue, the program the Red Cross set up to give flood victims $400 in immediate relief money. It launched this past Sunday. One day later, the whole system crashed. So what is going on with that $400 program? It's been broken since Monday, and mm -hmm. people, it's Thursday, and people still can't access it. They can't even sign on. And we're working around the clock with our vendors to make sure that when we turn the program back on, that it won't crash again. Can you give me a firm date when this will start again, when the program will be up and running? I wish I could. I want to have that date, but I think it'll be soon, but I can't tell you the exact date. I don't want to uh, set a false promise if we can. Now, we came here to Washington to speak to the president and CEO of the American Red Cross, Gail McGovern. That was our sole purpose of coming here because we feel the people of Houston deserve to hear from her directly. More on her and our questions to the Red Cross tonight at 10 on Channel 2 News. For now, reporting live in Washington, D.C., Bill Spencer, KPRC, Channel 2 News. We know you'll stay with it, Bill. Good work, sir.